Hello grade 10, this is your chapter 4 explanation about equations. So this is day 22 and it's very important that you watch the video every day for the explanation of the work and then the memo of the exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain all the work, the examples, then you're going to press pause and you're going to do the exercise and after that then you um, mark the exercise together with the video. Um, okay, so let's get started. Today we will talk about linear equations. Please ignore the Afrikaans. You'll see every time there's Afrikaans and there's also English, but just look at the English. So this is on page 46 in your textbook. Um, so first we are doing linear equations. We also did this in grade 9. So linear equations have only one solution. That means there's only one answer for x. We will also get to those that have two answers for x. Okay, so let's start. Example number A, solve for x. So first I see a bracket with something in front of the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that in. So I have 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 and then I multiply in negative 3 times x is negative 3x and negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Now I have x's on both sides of the equation. So what I want to do is I want to take all the x's to the one side of the equation. So it's 2x plus 3x because the negative 3x goes over it becomes plus 3x is equal to 2 minus 9 minus 3. So the plus 3 becomes negative 3 on the other side. Now I add them. 2x plus 3x is 5x and 2 minus 9 minus 3 is minus 10. To get the x alone, I'm going to divide by 5 on the other side. So x is going to be equal to negative 2. Please remember that 5 was multiplied by the x. So to get rid of the 5 to get the x alone, I divide on the other side by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Then number B, 5, I'm going to multiply in first, 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 3x is negative 15x. Then I multiply the negative 2 in, negative 2 times 10, and negative 2 times negative x. So that is negative 20 plus 2x is equal to negative 10x. Then again I have x's on both sides of the equation, so I'm going to take all the x's to the one side and all the numbers to the other side. So all the x's is negative 15x plus 2x plus 10x is equal to 20 minus 5. So the 20, negative 20 goes over, it becomes positive 20, the 5 goes over, it becomes negative 5. Then all the x's add up to negative 3x and 20 minus 5 is 15. Now to get rid of the negative 3 to get the x alone, I have to divide by negative 3 on the other side. So remember, it's going to be 15 divided by negative 3. Remember, the negative 3 is multiplied by the x. The opposite of multiplication is division. So the sign that changes is multiplication changes to division. So that means that it stays negative 3. It's not a negative becoming a positive. It's a multiplication becoming division. So it's 15 divided by negative 3. And that gives me negative 5. Right, those are the first two examples. You can pause if you want to or rewind to look at it again. We're going to do some more. These examples are also in the notes. Then, we are doing equations with fractions. So the rule for a fraction with an equation is to multiply with the LCD to get rid of the fraction. So here's what I mean by that. First, the question is to solve for y, number 1. So I see that I have a fraction, then I have to find the LCD. The LCD in this case is 10, because the LCD between 5 and 2 is 10. 
Now I make both denominators a 10 and I get rid of the denominator. So here's what I do. I say um, that I'm going to have everything over 10. So it's going to be, now ask myself, what do I multiply 2 with to get to 10? So, to, what I do is I multiply 2 with 5. So it's going to look like this. 5 and in brackets, 10y plus 1. What I multiply 5 with to get to 10, that's to multiply it with 2. So it's going to be 2 times 4 times 7y plus 1. And as soon as I have all the denominators the same, I can get rid of them. And I only use the top part. So, that's only in equations. When I have an equation and the denominators are the same everywhere, I can just throw the denominators away and get rid of the fraction. Then it's way easier. Now I multiply in 5 times 10y is 50y and 5 times 1 is 5. Then 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 times 7y is 56y and 8 times 1 is 8. Now I take all the y's to the left side and all the numbers to the other side. So it's going to be 50y minus 56y is negative 6y and 8 minus 5 is 3. Now to get rid of the negative 6 to get y alone, I divide by negative 6 on the other side. 3 divided by negative 6 is 1 over 2. So it's going to be a negative a half. Now the, the next one, number 2, the LCD will be 4x. So now I'm going to put everything over 4x. So first I ask myself, what do I multiply 2x with to get to 4x? with 2. So it's going to be 2 times 3. Then what do I multiply 4 with to get to 4x? I multiply with an x. So it's going to be x times 1. Then what do I multiply x with to get to 4x? That is 4. So it's going to be 6 times 4. And all of that is over 4x. Okay, we just learned that when the denominators are the same, I can throw them away in an equation. So I'm only left with the top stuff. 2 times 3 is 6, negative 1, x is equal to 6 times 4 is 24. Now I get x alone, negative x is equal to 24 minus 6 is 18. So x is equal to negative 18. Alright, so this you guys was the explanation of day 22. So now you have to do exercise 1. You can find the numbers um, of what you have to do on the notes and also the questions are scanned in from your textbook on the notes. So you don't need the textbook, you can just go, go to the notes and go look at the questions. Now you press pause and you do them. After that, you can just press play again to mark it. Okay, just pause for a little while. Okay, hopefully you are done with your exercise. Exercise 1 on page 47. Number A. The question says... A2 is 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 3. Now I have x's on both sides of the equation, so I take all the x's to the left side, 2x minus 3x, and all the numbers to the right side of the equation, 3 plus 5. 2x minus 3x is negative x is equal to 8, so x is equal to negative 8. That's number A2. Then... The next one is number A3. 
It's 3 and in brackets p plus 2 is equal to 2 and in brackets p minus 1. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply in. So 3 times p is 3p, 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times p is 2p and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, so now I take all the p's to the one side, 3p minus 2p, and all the numbers to the other side, negative 2 minus 6, because the plus 6 becomes negative 6. 3p minus 2p is p, and negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. Then, number 6. 4 and in brackets 2x minus 7 minus 8 and in brackets 5 minus x is equal to 3 and in brackets 2x plus 4 minus 5 and in brackets x plus 7. So I'm going to multiply in all of those brackets. What's in front of the bracket gets multiplied with everything inside. So it's 4, 4 times 2x is 8x. So I just multiply them all in. 8x and then 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. And negative 8 times negative x is positive 8x. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. Now I, take, I just try to add everything on the one side of the bracket. So it's 8x plus 8x gives me 16x. Minus 28 minus 40 is minus 68. On the other side, 6x minus 5x is x. And 12 minus 35 is negative 23. Now I take all the x's to the one side. 16x minus x is 15x. And all the numbers to the other side. Negative 23 plus 68 is positive 45. To get the x alone, I have to divide by 15. So x is equal to 45 divided by 15. So x is equal to 3. Right. Number B2. These are about fractions now. 3x over 4 minus x is equal to 1 and a half. Okay, so... First, I going, I'm going to think that the LCD is going to be 4, because that x is over 1. So, first, the first one stays exactly the same, and the second one, I have to think, what do I have to do to 1 to get to a, a denominator 4? I have to multiply by 4, so on top it would, would be 4x. And then 1 and a half is the same as 3 over 2. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 1 and a half is 3 over 2. To get that 2 to a denominator 4, I need to multiply by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 over 4. Now I have all the denominators the same. Let me just write down the LCD. The LCD is 4. Because all the denominators are the same, I can throw away the denominator, get rid of the fraction. So I'm left with 3x minus 4x is equal to 6. 3x minus 4x is negative x is equal to 6. So x is equal to negative 6. Then number 4. y plus 2 over 3 minus y minus 3 over 6 is equal to 5. Okay, the LCD in this case will be, let's look at it, 5 is over 1. I can put that over 1 there. So, between 3, 6 and 1, the LCD would be 6. So, I'm going to put everything over 6. So, it's going to be, what do I do to 3 to get to 6? I multiply by 2. So, it's 2 times in brackets y plus 2, then to get from 6 to 6, I just multiply by 1 or leave it as it is. So it's going to be negative and in brackets, 
y minus 3, that bracket is very important because the, that negative is going to make a difference. Don't let it catch you. Then is equal to 5 and in brackets a 6 because what do I do to 1 to get to 6? I have times by 6. All of that is over 6. But, but because the denominators are the same now, I can get rid of the denominators. It's an equation. In an equation, I can get rid of the denominators if they're all the same. So I just multiply the brackets in. 2 times y is 2y and 2 times 2 is 4. Then I have like a negative 1 in front of that bracket that I need to multiply in. So it's negative 1 times y is negative y. And negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. On the other side, 5 times 6 is 30. Now I have all the y's on the one side and take all the numbers to the other side. 2y minus y is just a y. And then on the other side I have 30 minus 4 minus 3. So that plus 4 plus 3 goes over, it becomes minus 4 minus 3. So y is equal to 30 minus 4 minus 3 is 23. So y is equal to 23. Then number B, it's B6, okay, m plus 2 over 4 is equal to m minus 6 over 3, sorry, m plus 2 over 4 minus m minus 6 over 3 is equal to a half. So the LCD between 4, 3 and 2 is 12. So I'm going to put all of them over 12. What do I do to 4? To get to 12, I multiply by 3. So the top part will also be multiplied by 3. 3 times m plus 2 minus. Then I also put that over 12. What do I do to 3 to get to 12? I multiply by 4. So it's going to be 4 and in brackets m minus 6 over 12. And then what do I do to 2 to get to 12? I multiply by 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Now all the denominators are the same, so I can get rid of the denominators. So I just multiply the brackets in. 3 times m is 3m, and 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 4 times n, m is negative 4m, and negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. And on the other side I have a 6. 3m minus 4m is negative m, and on the other side I have 6 minus 6 minus 24. Now I have negative m on the left side, 6 minus 6 is 0, minus 24. So m is equal to 24. And that's it for your day 22. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email your teacher.